So uh, first thing you got to do is you got to get insurance for your bike. That's even before you get immigration, which is a little odd for us, but they ask how you're going to get around, you got a bike, okay, and apparently you need insurance. Oh, here we are. Good morning. Uh, we're here in Cuepos, Costa Rica. And uh, today I'm leaving the Villas uh, Jacolida. It's a very nice place. I discovered the hot water tap was the wrong way. For me, the wrong way. And so what that meant was I had a real nice cold shower until the last second when I bumped it. The dial went the other way, and I was like, "Oh man, there is hot water here." So I had a nice, uh, I had a nice hot water finish. Anyways, uh, Jacolina's here has a lot of steps, so if you come here, don't come handicap access. Not possible. Uh, you'd most definitely have to do about four flights of stairs before you get to like reception kind of thing. And but quiet, got lots of resting areas, and so that part's pretty cool. Uh, so today uh, we're going to head off, uh, we being me and Rally. Of course, uh, we're going to join Simon today. He's from Germany. And uh, we're going to head to the Panama border today. And hopefully get through there really quick. It's quite early. I think we're talking 6 o'clock right now, maybe 6.30. Uh, but I want to get going because yesterday, you know, we got hammered with rain. Hammered with it. And so it's not raining right now. I just want to get some mileage in before and see if we can get somewhere before the afternoon showers start. Um, that just seems to be what happens here. Two o'clock, three o'clock, just a torrential downpour. So I'd like us to make some mileage. And so, uh, yeah, let's get out there and we have some fun. Well, the plan was to take the Pan American Highway down from Costa Rica into Panama through the Paso Cana Canoas. Well, once again, the riding videos are not here. Uh, sorry, they were lost on the chip somehow. All right, so uh, first thing you gotta do is you gotta get insurance for your bike. That's even before you get immigration, which is a little odd for us, but they ask how you're gonna get around, you got a bike, okay, and apparently you need insurance. So here we are, we're gonna get our insurance. It costs 25 American, 35. <laughs> this gentleman's helping us out. The super. Uh, right, so first you, well not first, but one of the steps you have to do is you have to go into that office over there with the yellow signs on the door, and that's immigration, you get immigration done. Then you gotta walk over here to this terminal entrance way here, and this is your, this is your customs, getting your bike done into the country. Then, I believe you have to go over to the Sagra agricultural thing and I think you have to get your bike agriculturally stamped or whatever and the gentleman at that counter there took three of our dollars to do all this stuff it's fine by me I don't care about that hopefully that'll be all the stuff okay so once you get your customs thing you got to go back you get to come in here anyways you got to go back to immigration and they got to stamp your bike in it's a little different process well total time was about three hours to get through customs and immigration Welcome to Panama! Alright, we stopped at a little soda here just by the border. On the way through, we haven't had breakfast, so that's what we're doing. This is for the vegan. This is the regular meal that you get here in Panama with some extra spice. He's got uh, frijoles, he's got eggs, he's got a pasta, and he's got rice. Yep. Pouring rain. And, uh, but the good thing is we're, we're under shelter and I'm hoping that this is going to pass in say 10 or 15 minutes and then uh, it could be a light rain, I don't care, but I just don't want to go through the torrential downpour again. 
we got about an hour before uh, we get to our destination. We changed the destination. We shortened it because the border crossing was longer than we thought. Uh, so the destination now is going to be uh, David or David, however you say it. We'll say David. And uh, the meal was great. Uh, really good vegetables, rice, the beans were good, some lettuce. Yeah, it was a good deal. And it, that and a bottle of water cost uh, four American dollars. So there you go, that was good. This is the uh, border control or military check. It lightened up a little bit, so we hit the road. I end up in David, and Simon went camping somewhere. Anyways, nice. We had some sunshine, so that all worked out nice. What a view from my window here in David. Uh, chocolate Atizima. Whatever, man. Gotta go check it out. It's got chocolate. Well, chocolate Atizimo not only has a nice selection of chocolates, but they've got everything so you can make your own chocolate. Desserts, cakes, nuts, bulk chocolate, other fillings. Oh yeah, you can become your own. You can become your own baker in here. Look at this. Flour, equipment. Thanks for serving it in. Oh, well, it's more than I thought. How awesome. Although I was really hoping for a whole bunch of sweet chocolates for myself. The Eternity Asian Market. Well, let's see what an Asian market is like here in Panama. Oh, yeah. It has the same, same look. Same look, same products, same smell as all the Asian markets you know when they're mom and pops it's okay by me i like I like some of the ingredients they have so let's see what they got going here it's the basics it's everything they got all the all the spices now if you had a kitchen uh you had a kitchen i could even have a i could even have noodle soup today if i had a kitchen not the vegan ones, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the tree dial. I don't want the tree dial. Yeah, it's alright. Really nice. Well, this sort of gives the feel for what walking along the street here but this is the feel I have about the whole place there's maybe like a shop over here but there's a guy doing some cutting some noise good to know there's a gas station blocks away but you know there's like these shops grocery stores traffic congestion and that's basically what the place is all about let's go see this place special sushi place is that well today I'm having ramen miso with mushrooms, looks like noodles, corn, but no green vegetables. That's life, I guess. So, this is at the hotel I'm at, and apparently this is the Quran, which I don't know anything about. Well, I had an interesting day today. Uh, let's see, it started off at, we started off in Costa Rica. And we had great weather in the morning, beautiful ride. Uh, then, of course, we got customs. Customs is always customs, man. <laughs> in and out. The out wasn't so bad. The in took a little while. A lot of steps. A lot of steps to do the importing of the motorcycle. Um, but we had a guy walking us through it. It was pretty good. 
And um, then we got to the other side, got a SIM card for the phone, uh, stopped for a bite to eat, and then we had a torrential downpour. Actually worked out quite good because we're sitting there, you know, eating and then it came down. And then um, that passed and did a nice drive here into uh, David or David. And overall, it was a, uh, it's a pretty good ride. Uh, David was uh, congested traffic, so it's not really my thing. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, got a hotel for the day. I did some grocery shopping, lubed my chain for the bike, so I'm ready to go tomorrow morning. And so that's basically it. So if you enjoyed the show today, give me a big thumbs up. You know, and click the bell. That way you get notified when new episodes are released. Subscribe. It makes it super easy for you to find it on your computer, or on your TV again. And, uh, you know, share it with some friends. You know, this is wonderful to share things with your friends. I like it. And leave me a message. I would really love to hear from you guys. It's fantastic. Thank you for those that have been sending me a message. I appreciate it. And you know what? The call to ride is going to continue. I hope you enjoyed the show and we'll see you in the next episode.